Hi everyone, welcome to Polo and Lifestyle Talks. I'm super excited for today's talk. We have our guest Joanna Arana, Studio for Interiors and Architecture, and we, I will speak to um, Joanna and her daughter Marta, and I will invite them now both that they can join the live talk. Hi, you both, Marta and Joanna. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, how are you? Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, it's such a pleasure having you here and speak about your work and your passion and your interest in science. It's, it's really like wonderful. Uh, also the apartment which we showed from you, uh, the penthouse, you know, with the African style, it was stunning. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> no, Thank very you. well done. Thank you so much. Yes. So I would say we will start um, about that you uh, speak about how you started your career, a little background from you, Joanna. Well, I start very young, uh, like I uh, imagine perhaps 12 years. I was, uh, um, I went uh, uh, normally a lot of times with my dad to the antique markets and antique stores. Oh, and wow. I learned a lot with, uh, with that. And on the other hand, um, I had my mother with the magical hands, putting the flowers, doing everything. And I think I have some uh, of that, that um, feeling, feeling uh, with my, my parents, from my parents. Oh, then then uh, I just uh, grew uh, with, uh, with uh, painting things. Uh, going to the street markets and selling my things oh, and wow. that the people love and uh, joy to have it in their own uh, homes and uh, that could be a path uh, and for the other hand I think I believe that we are all born with a, a purpose, purpose. Yeah, with a mission and um, I love what I do. I grow with the beauty around me. Wonderful. I totally agree with you with the purpose. And um, what was the moment when you knew you would be an interior designer? I think when my friends believe me and ask me a small, very small apartment and then friend of the friend and the parents' friends. And I just grew like that. Uh, it was the beginning of my career. So 40 years ago. It's, yes, it's, 40 years ago. It's a lot of little small houses and they grew <laughs> a lot and now they are big, big houses. And it's, it's fantastic. Uh, that's really, really fantastic um, to hear your background and how everything started. Amazing. And uh, what would you say? How can you characterize your style? I, I, I think our style, it's, I would say, eclectic. Mm -hmm. uh, eclectic that you see normally with, like, super bold colors and super, like, when people talk about eclectic, normally it's bold colors and reds, and we yeah. think we different. Mm -hmm. uh, so we mix a lot of different pieces with a lot of different cultures because we love to get the vibe of the clients, and sometimes they are not from the same country. They have different nationalities, so that's fantastic. And uh, it's also nice to see uh, where's the house, what is the environment of the house. So the, the eclectic is something that we use all the time. We mix things. That's how we are known. Uh, classical pieces, modern pieces, uh, African pieces. It depends on the project, but we, go, we, we like to mix. Mm, no, that's fantastic. And uh, Marta, uh, now a question to you. Like, did you always want to become an interior designer and follow uh, the footsteps uh, like your mother? I grew in the middle of everything, basically. I started <laughs> organizing crayons on my mother's atelier like a long time ago. I was like, I don't know, five. And I'll go there just to organize crayons. So I'm, I'm in the middle of this since I was a little kid. But I'm actually an architect, so I, I, I'm an interior designer and an architect, but my, my base, my studies are, are architecture. Uh, but when I was three, I, was, I passed like a beautiful classic house, and I said, mother, what a beautiful house. And I was like three. So it's something 
that is like it's born with you sometimes sometimes we are mm-hmm. lucky to have that in in you yeah i agree with that and uh what would you say marta what is uh the most um yeah a joyful um moment when you have on your project i think uh i i can speak for both i guess <laughs> i i think going internationally for us was the best moment ever and uh for example now we are doing uh some offices um, one um one building of uh, an office building in in india in delhi so it's fantastic to get our concept our our idea or visually idea, the idea uh of our concept of spaces to to everywhere basically it's it's fantastic for me that was the the most amazing uh, the most amazing thing is how the work is paid it's not with money at all it's <laughs> it is because it, in the end of the day it has to be but uh, but yeah that pays a lot yeah wow, that's really fantastic and what would you say like new trends innovations how do you stay ahead in the luxury market with that do you want to go for this one um i i think to follow trends in these in these days and innovation and etc we have to study a lot and be and travel mm-hmm. a lot i think when we when you travel you see different perspectives different ideas uh so it's fantastic to travel and i had the opportunity the opportunity to travel since i was a little girl and in our day in our profession is very important to go to the nicest hotels to the nicest restaurants to you see innovation everywhere and i think it's not only innovation in terms of like solar panels or how to make the house more sustainable yes that's very important but it innovation in terms of the clients as well we we have to innovate in their own environment and that's pretty uh, important and for that we have to study a lot and things done not only ours we are not in our little world we have to see well, appreciate yeah i think when you also travel like to these wonderful countries and cities you get a lot of inspiration as well you know absolutely. absolutely and and you know new materials also we always mix uh the poor materials with the rich things we love to do that kind of things and it's so important to go and to understand what what we can have in that site precisely and then we bring the ideas and we innovate also with the materials that, that's one can... that's one of the our characteristics that i think is very valuable i think we have a huge sample room and we love to to put our hands into it we have to touch the wood we have to touch the linens because yeah. sometimes they're very pretty online but when you touch them uh no that's not going to work so it's very important for us to mix everything mm-hmm. to feel the fabric sometimes the pattern is stunning and you touch the fabric it's hideous uh so it's 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 very important we love to touch and feel and mix the materials live with us yeah i think this is also a very important um step when you have a project and with the interior design that you have uh, not only like nice looking things uh, the feeling has to be also um great feeling yeah it has to be comfortable and com- the all about imagine. touch it's the most important in our work uh, scarlet it's to 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 bring comfort comfort to ev- every pe- for the people it's comfort it's one of the the most important things in a uh, interior design uh, work work yeah fantastic no i totally agree with that and um can you tell us um about like when you work on a like a residential private um apartment project and then you had a project with the private jet falcon uh, 7 and and like how is the process from when you work on a private residential and then with a, like a private jet you know because it's like different also from the interior design with the elements um how can what can you tell about that it it was um a big challenge because it's uh, it's not a easy project we learn so much with an amazing team of the so aviation we learn a lot we are ready to do more <laughs> we we want to do more 
um, it's it's incredible because you you need to do everything in a a so small space, and uh, we 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 work we create so many different things. First of all, we change the layout of the aircraft, okay. and of course the engineers, like twenty engineers around us, they just. Uh, they need to say yes, because if not, you cannot do it, of course. But uh, it was an uh, incredible, uh, incredible time um, and an amazing project because you can fly with it. <laughs> it's not a, not a house. We already did boats also, but a, it's, it's, it's amazing. We, 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 we did the project until the touch and go, just to see that everything it's okay when they ask me do you want to do the touch and go Absolutely. I said, yes <laughs> like this but okay let's go let's go one, th okay. one thing about that project that is fantastic as well is that we went until the last detail as we normally go into our interior design projects or architectural projects and here we could design the tableware even the silverware that is fantastic uh, we gorgeous. designed the insignia of the the plane. I mean, the plane has a phone, uh, a phone, so you can call the plane. Uh, so we we design uh, little cards, visit cards for the plane, and everything is matching, matching the linens, matching the towels. So is it's 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 a home that flies. Uh, it's very that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. One more, Charlotte. The the most uh, amazing thing it was the agreement of the engineers to do the ceiling with all the small stars. And when you fly by night, it's amazing because you can see you are in the heaven, really. It's, it's very beautiful. It's it was the Rolls Royce, no? It's the? Like in the Rolls Royce with the stars. Right, something like that, yes, yes. Yeah. Fantastic detail. I never saw this before in a private jet. It's beautiful. And no, it makes the, the it makes the, all the difference. By night, it's yeah. stuck. Oh, I can't imagine it. It is a wonderful experience and it's very unique. Uh-huh. It was amazing. Yeah. And um are there any designers, interior designers, architectures uh, from the past that you appreciate a lot? One that I think it's uh, incredible, it's David X. Yeah. Uh, uh, even today, I, lo I love to see the books and the work and everything that David X did. Uh, I learn a lot with him since I was uh, young. And another one, it's Alberto Pinto is from Morocco, Morocco. I don't know if you, uh, I, I'm sure you know the name, Alberto Pinto, yes. uh, incredible artist. Uh, I love his both, work. Both very eclectic as well. Yes, that's true, yeah. And um, how would you describe a typical day? Hmm. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> uh, it, it's a good Bad mass, it depends. Normally, it's like 25% of the day is like problems. Uh, uh, good problems. But good problems. Like the door is not functioning. What sh should we put here? Like the lighting is not, I mean, problems. That's not the, the, the good part is when we go to. Yeah, so problems, sample room, reviewing drawings as well, going to, going to sites to see uh, if everything is getting there, um, going to suppliers to, to see if everything is okay. To guarantee the perfection. Exactly, upholstery, carpentry, um, every, every kind of work. So we go, we go to places, we, 
We like to, we design a lot of customized uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, so we design every time it's a different piece because every house needs different or pieces space. or spaces. Uh, we buy antiques also. So we are always traveling and going to antique stores just to buy things uh, specific for those projects. So it's, it's, uh, it's basically it's a day that it's not, it's not always the same. It's no. always different. And a lot of times we need to travel to the, the country where we are working. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are doing uh, an hotel in Bissau, Guinea Bissau in Africa. And uh, we went there like 15 days ago just to understand the, the, the place, to feel the, the vibe, to understand the... Yeah, it's very important you, to feel you, the you site. Need... You, don't, you don't do nothing without feeling no. the site. It's very important. And uh, to discover uh, the, the manufacturing that we can uh, do there, because that is one part of our day. It's always discover the, the people, the artists that work with the ants, you know, and we love to mix that kind of things in our projects. Uh, the culture of the sites yeah. and the ants of the people that it's a, a good energy in, that you can feel in, in our projects, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very important that uh, you will see and feel the space and then you have an other understanding. Mm -hmm. And um, what advice would you uh, have for the next generation, um, particularly for those who want to follow into your footsteps and become an interior designer, architect, or... Uh, Scarlett, we have, uh, we'll, I love to have uh, young people around us because we learn with them, they learn with us. One is perfection. Work with perfection. Strive perfection. Everything you do, do it with perfection. And then put your love, the best what you have, in your work, and you will be uh, successful. successful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. No, I think it's um, a very important point to be um, with passion and perfection, this combination. Mm -hmm. And follow your dreams, basically, is that, right? I mean, you have to get it. I mean, go bold. <laughs> yeah. That's the way. And um, can you share any exciting projects you are working right now? So now um, we have finishing yeah uh, the building in India is one of them. Uh, the hotel in uh, Guinea Bissau it's another. Um, we are doing a townhouse uh, in, uh, in Chelsea in London. Chelsea. Um, we are doing a, a beautiful, beautiful, huge palace here in, uh, in uh, Lisbon, very stunning, uh, next to mm -hmm. the castle with a view to die for. Um, okay. We are finishing a house in uh, Lentejo as well, in the middle of Portugal, a beach house in Comporta made from scratch because we do architecture as well. Um, a lot of things. It's, uh, <laughs> And then a, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful Pathway. villa, a beautiful villa in Algarve as well. Uh, so I mean, uh, we are very happy with the work that we are developing because it's it's getting there, and I think you can you can see the final result very soon. <laughs> oh, really, really, like um, you are everywhere, like from uh, the UK, India, Africa, Portugal, fantastic. Yeah, we love we love to travel. That's the best thing that can give us <laughs> our work. It's good for yeah, us. Yeah, amazing. We love to travel. Yeah. And what would you say? What is one motto you live by? Like Joanna, you and then Marta, you. Um, I think it's one uh, very simple thing: have courage and be kind. That's my motto. Very my well basically completely different because I'm young, so my motto is completely different. And have a glass of wine, your day is just like, live your day as is the last one. It's, uh, it's more, I think it's a younger motto. <laughs> but I think mine, it's very strong. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. 
Well said, to the point, uh, exactly. <laughs> it was a great conversation with you both, Joanna and Marta. It was really, really fantastic to speak to you. A pleasure having you here and to hear your story and how you work. Really, really wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And pleasure. And I see you soon. Yes, in Portugal. <laughs> in Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs>